What's going on my guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Garrett with Game by the Beach. Very excited to be here with you today and we're playing a little bit of a new deck because it's a new meta and we're trying to figure out what's really good. Guys, Demonologist is already everywhere. I love Demonologist. It's such a fun card to play um, and we're going to be showing it off a little bit today. We're going to be showing it off. I'm sure you've already played against it before but we're also going to be using it with Cold Mage, Inquisitor, and Harlequin, and uh, and seeing if we can get some Ws. I really like this deck. We were playing this deck in War today, and I actually got four wins in a row, uh, and it's really, really cool. So let's try and break down what exactly we're doing with this deck and why it might work out really well and my, why it might not. So Inquisitor, if you guys don't know, we, Inquisitor got buffed, Harlequin got nerfed, uh demonologist got a massive buff look at all these things man jeez okay uh you don't want to merge inquisitor with harlequin anyway so i'm fine merging all these out we got tamer so anything that comes out of this is kind of whatever but i would like an inquisitor at some point let's try and like not die right away before uh before i get into my main points he's got demonologist there we're gonna be able to take anything out yeah Let's do Snowflake now. Do some Summoners. Do some Demonologists. There's an Inquisitor. So we got Tamer. Uh, we're alive. But yeah, so Inquisitors. If you guys didn't see, I made in. There was a new update. Huge update. I made a full breakdown on it in my video yesterday. Check that out if you want to see what is up. And if you guys are enjoying this video and yesterday's video, make sure that you guys subscribe. Uh, but yeah, Inquisitor, no longer 149, it's now 14710, which is really useful because Harlequin, you don't want to mirror out a bunch of damage, damage troops anymore. You want to make sure that you kind of get them naturally. So it's all about merging out Harlequins with summoners and, uh, and demonologists and trying to profit from that best that you can we don't have any mana right now we're actually in a really bad spot this guy's running a pretty cool deck i love it actually boreas just recently got a buff it's now back in the meta you love boreas who doesn't uh so that'll be a bit of fun let's just level inquisitor up one time and, and see if we can actually do anything here we only have 800 mana so that's a little bit uh tricky but uh but you never know what we can do he's our oh he's only got a level two Boreas, level two, uh, Alchemist. Let's level it on, level him up one more time, and let's try to get to four. Let's try to get to four, and then we can do a little some some. And uh, I'll just wait until we kill a mini boss, and then I'll spam. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. But with this Harlequin nerf and this Inquisitor buff, you really have to just totally think differently about how to run Inquisitor Cold Mage. Wade, you run it totally different than we used to. So it's a lot more thinking. It's a lot different. And, uh, and let's see if we can actually get some dubs here. Let's just do some of this. We'll do some of this. Okay. Still, we don't want to mirror out Inquisitor. Because there's that nerf. So let's do this. Oops. Just holding on for dear life. Let's do this. We'll get mana from that. We'll get mana from this. Inquis. Nope. Inquis. There's an Inquis. Let's level him up one more time. We got Gorgon. Cold Mage. 35 seconds. We should be absolutely fine. But thank goodness for Cold Mage. Thank goodness for the Inquis buff because no way we would have been able to hold on like that. And uh, and let's just max out here because we're going to try and get as far back to our portal as we can. We got 20 seconds. This actually is not that bad uh, to, to try and hold on right now. And the longer the game goes, realistically, we should be in better shape simply because uh alchemist kind of falls off and i don't know how boreas does really anymore in late game so it'll be interesting to see what that looks like but right here we're doing pretty good two seconds one second and uh, and we do have 1700 mana let's just get our cold mage up one more time so four to take out 500 is not the best thing i've ever seen that hit an inquiz that's not good uh under 400 let's see if it hits another inquiz it hit two inquizes that's brutal so let's try and do this because he's got he's got uh, oof hmm he's got demonologist. If I were him, I'd try to spam out demonologists. 
but he's not going to. Maybe it's a little bit late. I think we're still in okay shape. We got 800. We've got some merges that we can make once uh, once the Gorgon goes away, and we're going to see what we can do. But I've already run into, like, Boreas Demonologist a bunch, and it's and it's fun, dude. It's really cool. Demonologist is such a cool card that I'll always be pretty happy to see it, and maybe those are famous last words, but, uh, but we will find out. So let's see. We can do that. Uh, let's do this. We can do that. Okay, we got an Inquiz back, so now we're alive. Let's see, let's see. Let's get Cold Mage up. Let's try to max out our Cold Mage. We do have two rank sixes. Uh, so we're just kind of holding on for dear life. Gorgon is really bad for us, to be honest, but I think we still have a pretty good shot in this game. We got 50 seconds until Tamer. I think we'll be okay. We're going to have to see, though. We got a rank three Demonologist, a rank three Summoner, and a rank four Summoner. And, uh, and yet we don't have any, and two rank three cold mages, and yet we don't have any rank three inquisitors. So that's not good. Uh, and Tamer's actually going to be a little bit tricky, but uh, let's try and build up as much mana as we can. And then we can make some merges after we take all these guys out, maybe before T Tamer comes out. He just used his snowflake, which is a little bit interesting. Um, but let's see how far these, these monsters can go on his board. I'm going to use his snowflake in just a little while just so that my tamer's not super super strong let's use it now let's try to go back a little bit and then i'm going to start spamming my board just a hair just to see what we can do so we'll do that i'll merge it out immediately let's do this he's got a tamer right there i'm going to do a demonologist we've got two rank three demonologist or uh, summoners that we can use here so let's do that now we still got some mana we got to go through 1.4, which isn't terrible. We only got 1,000 mana, which also isn't great. 1.2 to go through. It's actually going to be a really close call right here. He hasn't sent any demonologists my way, but look how slow we are. It's just so funny how slow we are. 500 to go through. I got my snowflake if we need it. I don't think we will. My options at this point are... You know, merging my two rank three cold mages. I'm hoping I don't need Snowflake. That that fast monster is going to be a pain. Oh, no, it's not. All right, so let's do this. Okay, let's merge that out. Okay, we got 1,600 mana. We're going to get some mana from those guys, too. How many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we got 7 on our board. We could get 10. Let's do this. Let's wait. Wait for that cold thing to go away. Uh-oh. Let's do that. I mean, a little bit weird, but, you know, could be worse. He's got Snowflake ready. We do have a rank 5. We got two rank 5s, but one of them is, uh, is na -na, you know, the negative effect. I was just singing. Na -na -na, is one of the negative affected ones from Harlequin. So a little bit interesting there. But he's going to hit his Snowflake. I'm trying to merge that out, but I don't want to. He Snowflaked. Let's Snowflake! And there is a victory. What a brawl. Let's check out what his stats are. Level 8 Boreas, level 7, level 11, level 8, and level 8. Oh my gosh. A, a super long game, and B, quite a close game. But what do you think? You like this deck? You hate this deck? Demonologist is all over the place. Maybe I don't even need Summoner in there, but I really do think I do need Summoner in there because I need that extra advantage just to spam out Inquisitors if I really need to. But my goodness, that was a close game. Boreas is back. If you guys, it's really nice. Like, let me know what you guys think of this. Uh, we'll jump into another one right here. Let me know what you guys think of this new meta because Inquisitor is good. Engineer is still good. Boreas is good. They buffed Crystal Mancer. I don't think Crystal Mancer is going to be that amazing, but you know, prove me wrong. It did get a pretty substantial buff, but I still don't know if it's like worthwhile or not. We're going up against a Thunderer Hex deck right now. People are saying that Hex is really strong right now. Let me know what you're running. Let me know what you think of the balancing changes. The meta is broken wide open. People were saying that everything was engineer. You're absolutely right. I 100% agree with you.
That is not the case anymore. That is not the case. Ever since that update came out, I have not faced off against one Engineer deck, which is what you want to see. They did nerf Shaman. I've seen a little bit fewer Shamans, but I don't think it's going to affect the Shaman usage rate all that much. There are a ton of decks out there that work. Cold is in. Hex is in. Bombardier is still good. I'm going to be interested to see what your favorite decks are and what the new best deck in the game is right now. But this deck is working for me really well. And I don't know if it's just Inquis is strong, Demonologist is strong. You know, maybe those are going to be the cards that are always in everybody's deck. Um, but let me know, guys. I'm, I'm hype. I love this deck. It's fun. Inquisitor is just so fun to play. I was talking with somebody the other day, and, uh, you know, the Inquisitor meta, or sorry, the uh, Engineer meta just wasn't really my favorite. It's not super, I don't know, I don't want to say that it wasn't fun, but the whole idea is to get as many Engineers at a high enough, as high a rank as possible on your board. That was it. You go from one to two to three to four to five to six to seven to eight, nine, ten. You see what my point is. You're just trying to fill your board with Engineers. Eh, you know, okay. Inquisitor, you got to have the right number, okay? One to four to seven to ten, it's unique. It's a different way of thinking. It's kind of the same way if you were running Meteor. You got to have a specific number of Meteors, and you always need to have one in your back pocket. Like, Engineer is just fill your board and good luck. Like, that's that's all it was. So I really like that Inquisitor is back, and it should be really, really cool. You know, if you're playing Hex, you, you put a Hex in a certain spot. You know, Engineer just didn't have any of those um tactics really you know but here we go going up against gorgon again gorgon is just tough man it hit one of our inquises let's see if we can take it out pretty well and then we're gonna make a decent amount of moves here and see see what happens ah, i was trying to spam trap just before it died but i didn't end up happening we only got 1100 mana let's do that right now oh if it ever comes out okay we can do this just gives us mana if to say the least okay so we got Seven, I'm assuming. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, seven. Okay, that was three. I can't count. Clearly, I can't count. We're already maxed out with, with uh, Inquisitors. We got one rank three, which is really good. And uh, and we didn't... We haven't leveled up our Cold Mage, like, hardly at all. But let's try to build up our mana. Let's move our deck around, or our cards around a little bit. Merge a few. The later the game goes, the better it is to throw... Uh, demonologists their way so let's just I, I should have probably waited longer but it is what it is we got to 10 so now we have 10 which I love having 10 inquisitors on our board and still having the buff really really nice right there let's get our cold mage up one time and uh, we're gonna build up as much mana as we can right here okay after we try to take out warlock I'm going to try and merge out my troops a little bit. I got a bunch of rank 1s that I might be able to merge out here and get, just get a higher ranking 7 or a higher ranking 10, best case. But in the meantime, we'll be spamming his board with Demonologists, you know, maybe midway through the next wave or something like that. But they are getting to the end of his board. He's got 20. He better be leveling, leveling up his Hex or something. 17 seconds, 16. I don't know if he's going to be able to hold on or not. You got to do something. Okay, so Thunderer Hex. Might not be it, Chief. Let's hit him with a good game. Uh, but he's right around the same place. He got, you know, 948 crit. That's pretty solid. Let's see how much we get. 30, so he's around the same trophies as I am. I'm only at 4144. Let's jump into one more battle. But like I said, guys, this deck, maybe it's just Inquisitor. Maybe it's just Demonologist Strong. Summoner Strong. I'm not 100% sure. But I did this in Clan War and won four in a row, which was the first time that I've done that really in a while if not ever and uh let's hit this man with a good luck he's being a good sport um oh he's part of uh gunman's clans i believe which is a perfect segue because guys if you still don't have a clan join up with the beach bums join up with game by the beaches clan i don't know why i'm talking like that but we would love to have you okay we've got like six clans right now for you guys to join everybody's active everyone loves it we are so on top of it for these clan wars we just got first place in the last one and uh and it's just a really really fun community so if you don't have a spot join up we got uh what do we got beach brellas we've got beach bods we've got uh bums in paradise we've got beach buddies we've got beach bums 
you name it, we got it. We got a spot for you. We've got, I think, over 200 clan members currently. If you need a spot, come through. Everyone's everyone's super supportive. It's a lot of fun, and uh, and we'd love to have you. So just, you know, we got the link in the Discord. Join up through the Discord. I'll have a little chat with you if you want to get into a, into a battle or whatever you want to do. And, uh, and let's see what we can do. Let's level up our Inquiz a little bit here. We only got one, so... Um, I guess we'll just, I'll hit him with a, uh, a wave. He's, he's super excited. He's running Boreas Executioner, uh, with my Summoner and, uh, and Demonologist. And I really do think people are going to start going towards Mime rather than Harlequin because it's just less thinking. Harlequin, it can be a little bit tough. It can be a little bit tough. Um, I still think Harlequin's better than Mime. I'd rather have, like in that first game, we got a rank five Inquisitor and I mirrored it out. I'd still have, like, I'd rather a rank 5 Inquisitor, have the option of getting in a rank 5 Inquisitor there, even if it's a little bit worse than a rank 5. I don't even know what the statistics are. A rank 5 that I mirrored from Harlequin, I wonder what that da damage is in compared to, like, a rank 2 Inquisitor. I don't have that answer, but uh, let's see what we can do. Here we got Tribunal. Let's spam. We've only got four units on our board, so it's going to take away half. Uh, and then we're going to see what we can do. Spam, spam, spam. Uh, well, okay, we got these guys, these guys. We still got a thousand mana. Uh, so we should be in pretty good shape. Let's just keep spamming. I'll do a little bit of that. We'll do this. Do that. Do this. We got six. We're not even, we don't even have a, uh, there's a, okay. So we got four rank one Inquisitors, which definitely isn't what you want to see, but we could be in worse shape. We're going up against... Oh, I thought it was Bedlam. I would have been down for Bedlam, but we got Warlock. Uh, let's try and build up our mana a little bit. We do have a level 3 Inquisitor, so we definitely need to level him up more, but we also need higher ranking Inquisitors. So uh, so we'll see what we can do. He, he's got Demonologist. He's going to spam some if he wants. But after this mini boss, let's try and poke our board just to see what we can do. 4 to 7 is a lot less scary then four to nine so let's just start merging a little bit here i'll do some uh demonologists here okay that was beautiful that was less beautiful uh we can do that we can do that okay we got to nine let's level them up again let's get cold mage a couple times max out our inquiz he sent a couple demonologists my way obviously my demonologists aren't doing a whole lot to affect his board but they are giving me mana, which is super useful, obviously. So he's spamming Demonologists like crazy. Uh, another thing that I didn't mention is with, Demonolo with Demonologists is they no longer get insta-killed by Hex or, Inqui or uh, Reaper. But since I got splash damage, I have a pretty... I, I can handle Demonologists pretty well, okay? So we got, we got Warlock here in 20 seconds. We're working our way back. We've got 1,800 mana, 15, 13 seconds... I feel pretty good right here. I can merge out in a couple different ways. I might just wait until Warlock simply because if it comes down, it's going to hit one of the units that I was going to merge out anyway. That's best case for me. So one second here. Let's see what the damage looks like. I got 218 to take out. He's got like 400, which, which is not a lot for either of us. So let's merge that out. Let's get a new one. I'll do that just because. Okay, we got to, uh, we got to 10 here, and we've got pretty good cold mages, some pretty high level inquizzes, and uh, and not a whole lot of demonologists, but that's not the end of the world. So we're taking out his demonologists right now. Literally, cold mage inquiz, they're going to take out demonologists pretty good, but it definitely slows me down. It really does slow me down. So it's, it's useful for him to just keep on spamming things out, spamming things out. I guess I'll combine out my rank ones, if at all possible. He's making a ton of plays over there. He's snowflaking right now, which will probably give him an opportunity to snowflake twice. So let's use one now, too, because we might be able to use it again before the end, as long as uh, we can handle ours well enough. But let's see how we end up in this in this game. Definitely a cool deck that he's running. Executioner didn't get touched, so I'm curious to see why he's using Executioner. Maybe Hex would be better, but, but hey, it's clearly working. I want to see what stats he's got with Executioner at the end of this game, because I'm just curious. But they're getting to the end of his board right here. He used his Snowflake early. I definitely thought it was a little bit premature. Let's hit him with a good game. 
Executioner is 11. Demonology is 7. Boreas is 9. He's got a level 9 Boreas. No wonder he's using Boreas. Uh, and Boreas also got a buff, so that's really good. And uh, he's up at 1,000, almost 1,100 critical damage. His See, again, Executioner did 1 million damage. I really don't think it's worth it. I think he'd be better off with Hex. But that is the end of this YouTube video, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what deck you're playing and what you think of this deck, and I will check you guys out in tomorrow's video.